This project is a audio and video transmitter for television. I made this, I actually found this box on eBay and it was perfect. I just drilled it out and made it work the way, you know, to fit my needs. You can see those holes. Well, I got the, that's the output for the antenna, which is right here. That's a dipole antenna. It's pretty long because I'm using channel 4 on, on the television or channel 5. And you just thread that right in to the back. And you could actually hide the wire behind like a wall unit or your computer table. Put it way up uh, behind it and just staple it on the back. And the beauty of this is just 12 volts going into it. Plug 12 volts in. Toggle switch, turn it on. Hook up audio. You have your audio there and your video there from your digital camera or you could put a DVD or whatever you want to plug in you plug it right in and it will send the signal to the television set pretty far away actually I haven't really checked it but it works crystal clear inside the house and I can it probably works at least several homes away and let me just see something here well, let me show you the bottom is what I made the tag for the bottom that just shows 12 volt center positive for the power. I have it set up for channel 4. Two holes together on the front is the audio adjustment. The hole near the antenna is a fine tune for the video. Last hole is the coarse tune for the video. And the sealed hole is the audio level input. Now this I would give the video on it a 9.5 to 10 out of 10. Excellent video quality. The sound is good. I would probably give it a eight, eight and a half. And the only reason why I'm giving it an eight, eight and a half is because I needed a certain toroid and I couldn't find it and I ended up having to make my own toroid up. And it works really, really good, but the sound isn't perfect. But the video is incredible and you know it's it's for what it is, it's excellent. And you can make one of these on you go online, you look up um I'm trying to think of his last name. He's Japanese. I think it's Tetsuyo. T E S T E S T E T S U O. T E T S U O. And then after that, you want to put down simple television transmitter. Simple television transmitter. I think his name is like Kagaya, something like that. But it's Tetsuyo. T E T S U O. So just put Tetsuyo with uh, video transmitter television, and you'll see the circuit come up. I'm going to open up and show you. It's uh, pretty complex, so hold on a second. Let's see. Okay, a lot of stuff in there. Basically, this is just all surface mounted onto copper. I, I had some copper strips laying around and I glued them onto a plastic board. And you can see the seam between the two. I ground it, uh, I actually soldered both of these halves together. So this is all one, just one sheet on the bottom. And there's a whole bunch of transistors in there. Here's that uh, inductor I was talking about. I ended up using that instead of a toroid. And it works. Works pretty good considering. Right here I made this little house, this little box, to shield one of the RF coils because all you have to do is put your hand near this and it would just affect the video. That eliminated that problem. And that is it. I got the connection there. Everything is just soldered to that board. And of course other ends are just suspended in midair to make the circuit work. You just can't solder everything to the board, but that's it. It's a great circuit. Look it up online and build one.